Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of my Moto GP19 career mode here today for round two of season three and our second race on the premier class bikes as we arrive today for the Argentinian GP at Dermas del Rio Hondo. If you guys missed the first race of the Moto GP class at Qatar, you can watch the episode by clicking the link in the top right hand corner of your screen to go watch that first race guys before we jump into any spoilers for this episode. So uh, yeah, first of all, the first race, very good. No complaints, you know, very, very decent result. And uh, the podium was what we deserved. We was pretty good all weekend. But we're now going to go into Argentina. And a track that I actually quite like. It's quite enjoyable. It's quite unique. A lot of di different corners to what you normally see. And a lot of flowing sections, especially Sector 3. But um, we're going to try and see if we can try and one-up our result from the last race and try and improve on that. So um, as you can see in the leaderboard here, Danilo Petrucci was the surprise winner of the first race in Qatar. He really stepped it up. He started in P9, and I'm guessing the threat, you know, of me looking for his ride maybe at some point in the midseason has uh, made him step up. So he's going to be uh, quite quick. But um, yeah, quite surprising results. There also Franco Morbidelli P4, really good result from him. Jan Zarco P8 in the KTM. But yeah, that is it for the first race. We're now going to move into Argentina and we're going to see how we get on. As usual, as I mentioned in the last episode, it's going to be one race per episode. Now we're going to do 35% races and you guys should be quite happy with that race distance. So we're going to stick with it again for this race and see how we get on. So let's jump into it. Let's get into practice for the Argentinian GP. Okay, so currently coming towards the end of the track affinity test. We have good pace around here. The bike is working fantastic around here already. And uh, we should go P1 after this lap. We've got really, really good pace. I'm much quicker than all the AI bikes around us as we cross the line. And there we go. Good pace, maximum score. Good stuff. Right then, we're now doing the quick lap simulation test. And uh, this will also be our attempt to get ourselves into Q2 once again. And uh, double soft tire front and rear. We've got to try and tackle our teammate Peko Bagnaya here. Down the inside, going to be a very simple, straightforward overtake there. As uh, currently quickest, but we need to beat the, the reference time. We should be able to comfortably beat it because we set our current time on medium tyres. And we're now on the soft, so it should be a straightforward one as we go quickest through sector one there by a tenth of a second. Not too shabby, let's continue on. What a lap, what a section through sector three. Absolutely hooked it up through there. One more pile of lap to go. The rears are cooking quite badly. Nice and late on the brakes into there. Nice and easy on the power. As we go up to the line, it's going to be comfortably quickest. And there we go, onto the grass, but job done into the 35s. Okay, so maybe not quite into the 35s. We just missed out 36-0. 1.5 quicker than the nearest bike, which in this case is Andrea Dovizioso. Everybody on medium, medium. So overall, pretty decent. Um, the AI had similar pace to me. Dovi was quite close. So overall, we're looking in the driver's seat here, but we're going to call that a day and say that was a successful practice. We're now going to move into qualifying and hopefully straight into Q2. Okay, so unlike Qatar, we're straight into Q2 as P1, so we was quickest all weekend, and it stayed that way after our lap in FP1, which is very, very good. So we seem to have good pace. Let's jump into it, and let's see if we could try and convert that pace into a first MotoGP pole position. Oh, whew. Curbs are so deadly on the MotoGP bikes. I noticed that in the last race. Coming up our first lap here, Dovi setting the pace, 36-7. That's uh, quite a realistic benchmark for me to beat. We did a 36-0, of course, in practice. But I know that AI's pace will probably improve, so it's not going to be much if we get beneath that lap time, at least for now. Right then, a little bit hard into the final corner. I kind of got the line a bit wrong. But across the line, 36-1, that's a good opener. As we match on that from practice, I'll go for one more lap, assuming the rear tyre holds on. Let's see if we can get to the 135s. I think a 35 would be good enough for pole.
Right then, let's see this time, nice and tight at the apex. On the power, up to the line, do we beat it? Yes we do. 35.8, there it is. That lap will be enough, I'm pretty happy with that one. We'll see how time progresses, but I think we should be okay with that lap. Right, so here we have the final qualifying result, and that lap was enough as we secure our first pole position in Moto GP. This time we do manage to secure the bag. Last time we fell just short getting second place in qualifying, but this time our first pole ahead of Andrea Dovizioso and Mark Marquez in P3, and the Dr. Valentino Rossi in P4. The front four looking very familiar and very similar to um, Qatar. The exact same four riders, but in a different order. Alex wins P5, Crutchlow P6, Jack Miller, very decent P7, and Vinales and Petrucci running at the top nine and uh, the first three rows on the grid. But we're now going to move into the race for round two for the Argentine Argentina GP. Let's do this. Here we are then on the grid. There is Andrea Dovizioso who starts from P2 just behind us. He'll be wanting to try and win this race and uh, pull one back for Ducati after his teammate Petrucci won the opening. He's going to want to return the favour. There's Mark Marquez. Always the favourite and uh, the man to beat in MotoGP. The man with uh, a lot of world championships to his name and he's quickly catching up to the doctor Valentino Rossi. But uh, we're going to jump into things here. First of all, we're going to select the tyres and in the last race we went for a medium hard. I'm going to do the same thing here today because I know the rear is going to get a bit of a workout. The, the rear does cook quite a lot around here, so we're going to go medium hard. And uh, this should be a, a, a much more suitable tyre for this racetrack. I should have gone medium, medium in Qatar. But the hard rear kind of affected me quite, you know, quite a lot. But uh, let's see if the medium hard does pay off around here. I think it will do, and I think we've got a good race on our hands. So let's jump into it and uh, let's get into things. Okay, let's try and get a good start here. Five lights are on at Argentina. Lights out and away we go. Let's see if this starts any better than the last one. Not great, but not terrible. We're gonna go the long way around at turn one. A little bit wide on the turn in. We're gonna go back underneath Rins there. Quite slow down the inside. We're gonna try and squirt her on. Morbidelli getting a good start yet again now for the second race in a row up to P4. The doctor though, Valentino Rossi from P4 on the grid leads the way as Jan Zarco goes down in the KTM as we go down the inside of Mark Marquez. Good move there. Look at the Ducati just pull away on the straight. Jack Miller's P2. What a start from my team. I didn't even notice. But uh, look at Dovi on the works. Ducati just stretch its legs down the straight. We're not too bad either as Marquez goes down the inside. Morbidelli very hard on the brakes there. Trying to force a way through. We're going to get the power down here on the exit. Let's see if we can get back underneath. There's uh, Rins again going down the inside. Going to be, I think, having a lot of battles here today. As we go into the kind of double apex right, which tightens at first and then opens up on the exit. We're going to go very low. Oh, that's not the best line. Quite wide through there. That's inviting Rins, but we're going to just hold on and take the position. Very weird line I took that time. As Dry Mir goes down further back on the other Suzuki. So we're down to P6, not an ideal start. Still trying to get the grips and find the best method to get a good start on the MotoGP machine. I'm going to take a wide line here, see if I can set myself up for the pit straight. Seems like the Ducatis are battling away still, Dovi and Miller, as uh, the doctor, Valentino Rossi, starts to open up some space out front. Morbidelli just in front. Let's try and get past the Brazilian-Italian rider and... Uh, make some progress here. I can smell a podium. I think a podium is possible. Very realistic. And I want to try and achieve that. So hopefully, unlike Qatar, where I felt like we was constantly chasing that top two, this time we do actually have the pace, hopefully, to uh, make the moves happen. I'm curious to see what the straight's like here. Just to see what this Pramac can do on the straight. The Yamaha should be quite slow. And you can, I can visually see already how much we're catching Morbidelli here. Look at this. The Pramac and the Ducati power just really stretching its legs here as we make huge progress on Morbidelli. I'm a little bit hot, I'll have to be careful here, I'm going to have to release the brake to make sure we don't go under and uh, tuck in the front. Let's try and make some progress though and let's make some moves now because I don't want to leave it to the end. We've got nine laps in this race, one more than in Qatar. 
good line through there. That's going to set me up beautifully for the exit. Keeping it flat through there. Burning up the rear tyre. Can we go down the inside of Morbidelli here? No, we can't. We just hit the back of him a little bit there. Got to be careful. But I can smell a move. I can smell an overtake. This time nice and tidy. Nice and tight through here. On the power and fourth gear. Nice and early. But Morbidelli does get a good exit to be fair to him. I'm going to take the wide line here again. See if it pays off. Doesn't quite pay off to be fair. Morbidelli managed to get the, the bike rotated quite quickly. 36.5 from Valentino. That's qualifying pace right there. So he's uh, really going for this. I believe Dobby's now definitely up to P2. That's perfect. That's the line you want right there. Over the bump beautifully. Here we go. We're going to power past Franco Morbidelli. Lovely stuff. Ducati, absolute beast on the straight. This time, let's get it slowed down here. Morbidelli back down the inside. A little bit hot on the brakes. I'm going to go straight back underneath. Oh, my goodness me. That was close. Too much gas. And also, putting the gas down on, on the curb is never the way to go. Can we go back down the inside of Morbidelli here? Not quite. Morbidelli's brave on the brakes. And I'm having to back out. I'm going to get a better exit, though. A sharper exit. To the left-hand side. Inside for the left-hander. There we go. Job done. This time we're through. Very nice move here. Well, we're making it tricky, but we do get past. Rear tyre there hanging in quite nicely. So the hard tyre definitely the way to go. As we're now one-third into this race. Good run through there again. Good exit onto the back straight. Let's see if we can try and reel in the Honda. The Honda's going to be a little more tricky to pull in. We're still quicker than that bike, but not by much. The Yamahas are the ones that are vulnerable. As uh, Valentino is actually quick all over the lap, but he constantly comes under pressure from Dovi down towards his hairpin because Dovi gains all over the straight. But uh, here we go then. It's a Yamaha versus a Honda versus three Ducatis as uh, we start to make progress here and uh, start to lean on Mark Marquez and put the pressure on. Marquez is hot there. We're going to stay nice and low, get the power down, the hard tire, paying dividends. Mark, as you can see, struggling for grip. I'm going to go down the inside, but Mark is late on the brakes. He holds on. Constant looking for that switch back. That was a bit too aggressive there. Got way too wide. Not bad, though, through the exit. Let's just stay within range. Maybe I can get a run on the pit straight. I'm going to take a different line this time. A little bit too slow there. I lost too much speed. As the Ducati's almost come together there. Miller's trying to re-challenge Dovey for P2. Fair play. Valentino trying to put some big distance between himself and us out the front. This has to be the lap now where we start to make some big progress here. We need to start making these moves happen if we want to have a chance this race. You can see the bike squirming all over the place as we're trying to make some progress. But uh, we're close enough now that we should be able to get some momentum onto the back straight. Not the best line through there, but we'll take it. Can we take Marquez here? I've got the nice toe, but to be fair, he's hanging in there. That Honda, not too bad for straight line speed. On the brakes, we're just going to take a wide line. Marquez has been running quite hot through most corners, so that might be a, a, an opportunity for me. That's nice. Nice and tidy there. Good tight line. This, be, this might be my best chance now. Marquez wide again. Run the power. Hard tire allowed me to go flat through there, keeping the low line. This time we're later on the brakes. We go down the inside and take it. There we go. Up to P4. So it's now Ducati 2 3 4 in this race. Let's try and get past Miller and pick up a podium position. Rossi seems in control though. He's really put some distance between himself and the competition on this lap. Very strong lap from the doctor this time around. But we're not done yet. I still think I can win this race. And I can still do this. Jack Miller's a bit hot into the hairpin there. He will get a better exit and uh, probably challenge Dobby, but we're starting to put the pressure on now. Marquez has dropped back. He can't keep up. So we've got no pressure from behind. So we can focus solely on the guys in front of us. Dobby gets in a bit hot there. 
Let's take our usual tight line here, which gains us a lot of time. Miller going very short, very compromised into the left hander there. Just going to put him on the back foot a little bit. We're going to get the run on him here. The outside isn't going to be the way to go though. Trying to squirt the throttle on though. We're going to take a different line. Can we slip down the inside here? Yes, we do. We stand him up. Very wide from me there. My bad, but we've got to do what we've got to do. As we ever take Jack Miller for P3 very hot into that corner but we managed to get the move done so we're now into the podium as Miller tries to re-challenge here we're just going to keep him behind so this lap plus two more to try and catch up to the front two I think Dobby's possible Rossi not so much Rossi seems to have good pace as uh, Miller tries to re-challenge me here will he get the run no, he's not really close enough. I think we should be okay here. Yeah, that's fine. Right then, let's get out to Dobby and uh, try and pick up P2. Here we go then. Two to go. We're starting to catch Dobby here. Can we get past him? I think we can. I think Valentino's a bit too far away for two laps to go. That's too much of a gap for me to have to make up, especially because I've got to get past Dobby as well. Dobby's hot there. Again. I'm a little bit wide myself. Didn't quite tuck the bike in there. But we are making progress. Dobby's a bit out of shape here. He's definitely made a bit of a mistake. Made a hash of that one. End of sector 3 slash start sector 4. We're going to tuck in here. Nice exit. Do we challenge on the braking here? Not quite. I'm going to take a wild line anyway. Dobby's hot again. He's struggling. I wonder if his tyres are really going. Last lap of the race. Here we go then. All or nothing. A little bit hot there. We're going to get the run down towards turn one. Do I go for it? Nope. Dovi's quite decent on the brakes, to be fair to him. Good exit out of one there, down towards turn two. We'll try and get him on the back straight, get in the slipstream. On the power. Very nice, very nice. That's what we want. We're going to power past the works Ducati here. But Dobby's going to start to pull me back. Look at that. You can see him just starting to edge back in front. I'm the bravest on the brakes though. No, not ideal. Wow, not ideal. Too much rear brake. Too much rear brake. Ruined it. Damn it. Pushed the limits too much. I should have just gone with the front all the way. Even if I'd gone in hot, which I would have done. But the rear brake is just deadly, especially at this stage of the race. Stupid mistake. Rookie error. You can see my tyre when my rear tyre is gone. Just throwing it into every corner now. See if we can salvage anything out of this race. But we ain't got the tyres for it, unfortunately. My rear is done. Shame. We had a P2 there. Instead, it's going to be P9 from pole position final corner hot again trying to get the bike slow down but just doesn't want to Valentino Rossi the doctor picks up the win in Argentina and we come home P9 so that was not ideal in one bit but Valentino Rossi picks up the win and Dovi P2 Jack Miller P3 Dovi actually picked up the fire step of the race with a 36-3 quicker than qualifying so Dovi much better race pace and it should have been us there in P2, unfortunately for us, but uh, it wasn't to be. Mark Marcus P4, Mobile P5, Vinales P6, Rins, Petrucci, and myself round out the top nine. So even with the crash, we still got ninth place and managed to beat the objective of a top 10 finish. And then rounding out the top 10 is Fabio Quattararo. Much better race from him this time around compared to Qatar. And then we've got Lorenzo as well. Much better race from him here today. And then we've got Crutchlow, Oliveira, P13, and the Tech 3 KTM. Fantastic performance from him. And then we've got Bagnaya and Espargaro rounding out the top 15. And your point scorers here today. In terms of the Riders Championship, we are currently P7. Valentino Rossi leads the way with Petrucci P2 and Marquez P3. Not too far behind. But uh, we need a... We need a podium just to get back on track. We're only 13 points off the top, so it's still early days and nothing to worry about too much. But um, 
yeah, that's the current standings in the Riders Championship. In terms of the team championship, though, you can see that we are currently P3. And uh, Ducati, the factory team, lead the way by 13 points over us and 4 points over Monster Energy Yamaha there. So overall, not too bad. But uh, guys, that is going to be it for this video and this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, drop a like on the video and also get subscribed if you are new for daily Formula 1 and also MotoGP content. And turn on notifications to not miss any videos from me. And finally, check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me.